In this video, we're going to dive into two important concepts that are key to understanding how the Invoke Canvas works, and more broadly, how generative AI functions, denoising strength and the image-to-image -image process. By the end of this video, you'll have a better grasp of how images are generated and refined in Invoke. Let's start with the concept of denoising. Whenever you click the Invoke button and begin generating an image, the process starts with a staticky, noisy image, something that looks like what you see on the right here. This is called noise. It's essentially just a selection of pixels that the model will transform into your final image. The process of turning this noise into a complete image is called denoising because you're removing the noise. Now, let's talk about denoising strength. Denoising strength controls how much the starting image or visible raster layer influences the final output during the denoising process. Say you're starting with an image of a teacup. If you set the denoising strength to a high level, the process would begin with an image that has more noise and less definition of the original teacup, and the model will have more flexibility to create something new based on your guidance. This means the starting point looks more like the image in the middle, Lots of noise with just a hint of the teacup visible. On the other hand, with a low denoising strength, there would be much less noise in the starting image, and the final output will be closer to the original teacup you started with. This is what you see in the image on the left. Less noise and more similarity to the original image, meaning the model has less freedom to modify it. Let's see this in action. Drag an existing image onto the canvas to create a new raster layer. If I set a high denoising strength, the model has a lot of freedom to change the image, making it more likely to transform from the original. If I set a low denoising strength, the image stays relatively the same, with subtle variations. There's a whole host of creative ways you can use image-to-image -image techniques in combination with other layers like control layers and reference images. We look forward to seeing what you create.